Hello and welcome to Nephrology Nursing Perspectives, an official podcast of the American Nephrology Nurses Association. This podcast provides interviews and discussions between members of the American Nephrology Nurses Association and the nephrology community. The podcast focuses on nephrology nurses' issues, health policy, and nephrology nursing as a specialty nursing profession in the areas of conservative management, peritoneal dialysis, hemodialysis, continuous kidney replacement therapies, acute kidney injury, transplantation, industry, and health policy. In September 2021, and under the direction of the American Nephrology Nurses Association's Leadership Committee, chaired by Ms. Gail DeWald, ANNA presented its second episode of the Way into Nephrology Nursing webinar series. This series is designed for the student or new-to-practice nurse who is interested in learning more about nephrology nursing. Facilitated by Leadership Committee members Dr. Jamie Brown and Dr. Amber Paulus, This episode provides conversations from the second episode of the series. You'll meet some nephrology nurses and hear about the benefits available to you from a professional nursing association. We are pleased to present these conversations from the second Way Into Nephrology Nursing webinar. Welcome everyone to the WIN webinar. We love nephrology nursing and so will you. And I'm here with Dr. Amber Paulus and Dr. Jamie Smith-Brown, who are going to be our presenters today. Jamie? Welcome, everybody. My name is Dr. Jamie Smith-Brown, and also our host here, we have Dr. Amber Paulus. So we are the American Nephrology Nurse Association. So we are actually the only organization that focuses on the nephrology nurse. And as you can see here, it kind of highlights some of the areas that we may work in such as the hospital settings, such as your acute care units, also your acute dialysis units, also even think about your outpatient settings, your home training dialysis centers, and even nephrology provider settings, such as your advanced practice nurses, colleges, universities, nursing schools, businesses, government, and et cetera. So actually this webinar, as you can see, is going to include real nephrology nurses. So you're going to be hearing from them, talk about their career in nephrology nursing. Also going to be hearing about the average salary for nephrology nurses and also advanced practice nurses. And then also going to hear about where do most nurses start actually in the field of nephrology. And then we're going to conclude with ANA membership and also benefits. So we would like to share how much we love our nephrology nursing career. So I would say for me, I started out working in the medical ICU area and I transitioned to the hemodialysis area and also becoming a peritoneal dialysis nurse. I also moved on regarding getting my degree in nursing education And I also got my doctorate in health education. And currently, even now, I'm a nursing professor in which where I teach undergraduate and also graduate nursing students. So even for me, nephrology is definitely rewarding and definitely a diehard passion of mine because, hey, I love educating my students, the nursing staff, patients family, and then also the community area. And I'm also very active in ANA, in which I serve on the leadership committee, the research committee, and also I'm the educator spin leader. Thank you, Jamie. I am Dr. Amber Paulus. I started in the medical progressive uh, care unit and kicked off my nursing career in the acute care setting and then progressed into a quality improvement role from a bedside practice and started my PhD journey shortly thereafter and merged into a research career that I currently work in today as a contractor for the federal government, overseeing the quality of care and dialysis facilities, as well as additional research projects funded through federal and state grants. I started in doing research from the bedside Uh, through something called Transforming Care at the Bedside. Uh, It was a coalition within my hospital. And I found that chronic kidney disease patients were the most challenging disease from a management perspective, as well as intervention perspective, right at the start of my career. And I really enjoyed the patient population. 
So when I transitioned into quality improvement full-time, it was solely focused on dialysis facilities. I finished my PhD and my dissertation was focused on evaluating readmissions amongst patients with end-stage renal disease. And now I continue that work through government contracting as well as additional initiatives. So now you'll hear from some other nurses and their background in nephrology as well. Hi, my name is Christy Keller and I am a nephrology nurse from Statesville, North Carolina. The reason I got into nephrology nursing is sort of by chance. It was a happy accident, I guess, for me. I came from ICU and went into renal nursing knowing absolutely nothing about it and fell in love immediately. And I have been a renal nurse now for 14 years. We have a lot of autonomy in our area. We get to make a lot of decisions. We're very, very collaborative with physicians. It is not so much them just giving us orders and we carry out the orders many, many times. They ask us, what do you think? What should we do? It's very much a collaborative effort, which I really, really love. I encourage anybody to give it a shot. I think it's not talked about enough. It's not covered as much in nursing school, but it's such a fabulous area of nursing. And if you get into it and you really love it, I mean, you will know. It is either a love it or hate it area typically. But for me, it has been love. I've spent my entire career. I will never do anything else. I can't even imagine it. It's very complicated. We have so many body systems. The kidneys just control everything. I encourage anyone that is a renal nurse, definitely join Anna. That has been so helpful just to be able to reach out to your colleagues and bounce ideas off each other. So I just hope that anyone really gives nephrology nursing a shot. I think that you'll really love it. Hello, I'm Lori Vinson, a home dialysis clinical educator with DeVita. I have been a nephrology nurse for more than 30 years. Once I entered nephrology nursing, my passion for caring for end-stage kidney disease patients grew. The best thing about nephrology nursing is the opportunity to work in various modalities. Initially, I worked in center hemodialysis and then explored other aspects of nephrology care that piqued my interest and worked well with my personal life. As an ANA member, I value and utilize the nephrology resources available. Networking with ANA colleagues is a support system I have outside of my employer. I love nephrology nursing and I hope you have an opportunity to join this very special healthcare field. Thank you. Hello, my name is Janine Musgrove, MSN RN APRN. I have over 21 years of experience working as a nephrology nurse in outpatient hemodialysis in Mississippi. One of the best things about nephrology nursing is the reward of having a positive impact on patients. Nephrology nurses care for patients of all demographics and with multiple comorbidities. As dialysis nurses, we are there to guide the patient through their first dialysis treatment as they are often too nervous and overwhelmed to understand it. We educate the patient on several topics such as their disease process, the renal diet, how to care for their dialysis access, renal transplant options, and the importance of following the renal care plan. I am grateful to be a member of the American Nephrology Nurses Association because they are the voice of the nephrology nurse. And our platforms give other medical professionals and students a glimpse into the unique world of nephrology. As an ANA member, you will learn the skills of being a leader, mentor, educator, and patient advocate. These skills will be pivotal along your career pathway. Greetings, everybody. My name is Gerardo Infante, but almost everybody calls me Jerry. I am a member of the ANNA Chapter 312 in Michigan. I started my nursing career in primary care in a federally qualified health center in Detroit, Michigan, where we serve minority populations, mostly Latino and African-American families. After four years working with such populations, I discovered firsthand that minorities are at a higher risk for kidney failure. Research shows that one and a half more likely. I have now worked in nephrology for almost two years and I have truly found my niche. This specialty offers an opportunity to be challenged in a good way and grow as a nurse. My desire is to bring an appropriate cultural care to the Hispanic community in the nearby future. I have always been a believer in the strength of numbers, community, and networking, much so that I am part of several nursing organizations. 
So immediately as I became a nephrology nurse, I joined ANNA chapter in Michigan. Within one year, I have become part of the board serving as a co-secretary. Our current board is so diverse and we will strive to leave a meaningful mark for our peers, our community, and our patients. Thank you. Hi, my name is Melanie Harper and I am a member of the Intermountain Chapter 516 in North Salt Lake City, Utah. I absolutely love nephrology nursing. I have been a registered nurse since 1994 and was introduced to nephrology nursing in 1995. It was love at first sight. My mentor, who I am forever grateful for, was an active member of ANNA, in fact the national president of ANNA at that time. She shared her passion and love for nephrology nursing as well as ANNA with me. By doing so, I also developed that same love and passion. I have been an active member of ANNA since 1996 and have served many years on my local board. By doing this, I have had the opportunity to work closely with some nephrology nursing professionals who I admire and look up to, as well as many more nursing professionals in my area. In 1999, I became a certified nephrology nurse and have remained certified since that time. Having my CNN has led me to opportunities I would never have had professionally had I not been a certified nephrology nurse. Having my CNN has empowered me and has given me confidence in my nursing profession in the various roles I have had over the years. One of the reasons I love nephrology nursing is because of the relationships and the bonds you develop with your patients. Your patients, in a sense, become family. You get to see a transformation of a very ill person returning to feeling well again. Knowing I had an impact in changing the life of one of my patients gives me fulfillment. I love ANA because of the ongoing education opportunities made available to its members. I love to learn, and with ANA, you have many opportunities to continue to learn. Choosing nephrology nursing as my profession has been the very best decision I have ever made. Greetings from Dallas, Texas. My name is Laura Cato and I am celebrating more than 47 years as a registered nurse. I have spent the majority of my career in a variety of nephrology settings and have been retired from clinical practice since 2019. The thing that kept me in nephrology nursing was the opportunity for learning and professional growth. Since being introduced to dialysis in the 70s, I never lost the awe, wonder, and excitement related to the fact that the process actually works. At the end of a dialysis treatment, you see immediate improvement in the patient. So how did I get involved with ANNA? I was literally drafted into active membership. At the completion of a job interview, my bosses began to talk about the benefits of ANNA membership. They were both chapter officers and their enthusiasm was infectious. They explained that they had immediate openings for either chapter secretary or treasurer and that I could take my pick. The rest is history. Choosing the role of secretary, I served for many years with the St. Louis Metro chapter. I currently serve as secretary and senior advisor for the Dallas ANNA chapter. I still enjoy being able to educate, mentor, and recruit a whole new generation of nurses in the specialty. Nephrology nursing is truly a career for a lifetime. Thank you for your consideration. Hello, my name is Dr. Teresa Campbell. I am the ANNA Cardinal Chapter President in Raleigh, North Carolina. I was first exposed to the world of nephrology as a nursing student, then as a floor nurse. I received my master's degree and family nurse practitioner certification in 2000 from UNC Charlotte. In 2012, I earned my Doctor of Nursing Practice degree from the University of South Alabama, where my research project focused on CKD patients. My project was a qualitative study evaluating CKD education among the Hispanic population. I was fortunate to be selected as an ANNA research grant recipient and later presented my findings at the National Symposium. Currently, I am a nurse practitioner with a nephrology group in Fayetteville, and I am adjunct faculty with Simmons College in Boston. ANNA provided a platform that encouraged my professional growth, challenged me to step into leadership, and supported and encouraged my research. ANNA provided a great network of nurses and nurse practitioners that are my colleagues and sounding board. I have always worked in nephrology. I am passionate about providing quality care to CKD and end-stage renal disease patients. I am focused on decreasing health disparities in the CKD population and empowering patients with CKD to understand their disease process and take control of their health. 
I am proud to be a nephrology nurse practitioner and a member of ANNA. So you might ask yourself, okay, where do I start if I actually want to become a nephrology nurse? So from an RN standpoint, simply just working in the hospital may be an area, such as the med surge floor, the IMU floors, also even your ICUs. And then from an outpatient setting, it may just simply be hemodialysis centers. And then also think about those patients, for example, who are doing dialysis at home, and therefore they're gonna be needing outpatient home training. So we have nephrology nurses that actually work in those types of settings. And then of course you have your nephrology clinic office. From a advanced practice standpoint, definitely have a nephrology practice group. They also, you may find them in hospitals such as your adult hospitals and also your pediatric hospital settings. And also regarding patients that say who need or trying to seek a kidney transplant, you also may see an advanced practice nurse in the kidney transplant program. And then definitely you will see advanced practice nurses practicing research in various research settings. So looking at the expanded role of the nephrology nurse, like Amber and myself, so for myself, I work in the college university arena and Amber works in the QI and research areas, but still you can be working in, you know, transplant coordinator, being a state surveyor, still once again, advanced practice nurse, a pharmaceutical representative, even a nurse researcher, a nurse educator, corporate sales, office nurse, and then also a legal nurse consultant. So now let's move on to the money. So what salary can I expect as a trained dialysis nurse? So according to data from 2019, as you can see, the average dialysis nurse salary, of course, is going to vary, vary by where you live, such as your state and also the location of where you live. And based upon our 2019 data, it shows that our salary ranges from 55000 to 82000 But still, there is a bonus regarding add-on call pay for areas such as being an acute hemodialysis nurse. And then look at the nurse practitioner salary. Still, once again, it's going to vary by state and location. So based upon 2019 data, that salary ranges from $89,000 to $122,000 regarding our average salary. Few responsibilities of a hemodialysis nurse are cannulation of the dialysis access and initiation of treatment using a dialysis machine. And they're also supported in that role through a patient care technician, assessment before, during, and after treatment. You're responsible for managing fluid and electrolyte balance, uh, doing the patient and family education on all areas of CKD treatment, being alert for complications for treatment that might occur while the patient is on dialysis, both pre and post as well, communicating with the healthcare team regarding the patients, including the nephrologists, advanced practice providers, like physician's assistants, nurse practitioners, dietitian, a social worker, anyone on the transplant side of care, like a transplant coordinator, documenting in the medical record, and assisting the patient in developing a life plan to meet their individual goals. So as far as skills to be successful as a hemodialysis nurse, being detail-oriented is definitely key. Being a patient advocate, as well as excellent communication skills, oftentimes So a difference between the outpatient setting of hemodialysis and anything that happens in patient or acute care is sometimes you are it. You are the full workforce supported by patient care technicians. So having strong communication skills with providers who are not in your facility or even near your facility is critical. Staying organized to make sure that you can complete things while the patients are on treatment. Being able to anticipate the needs of the patient having strong cannulation skills, and being dedicated to lifetime learning as new equipment starts to advance, new procedures start to advance, changes in policies and procedures occur, definitely requires lifetime learning. So as you can see here, we have to explore nephrology nursing. So you wonder where to begin your nursing career. So definitely seek out our web links. As you can see, annanurse.org backslash students to see more information regarding, hey, our free virtual membership, 
Then also our free scholarship offer. The free scholarship offer provides information regarding free attendance to conferences, such as our fall conference and even our national symposium. So here are some more membership benefits of becoming a member of a and a So definitely have the publication. So the Nephrology Nursing Journal is actually the official journal of the American Nephrology Nurses Association. It is published six times per year. And also the print, it can be hard copy or also in an electronic version. And then we have our a and update. So this here is basically just a newsletter that provides pretty much information about the organization, about what's going on throughout the organization. And it's also available in print and electronic copy. And then we have the a and e-news. So this news here, it is published monthly and it's sent to you and all members of ANNA via email. And then of course, regarding other resources, you can find other publication resources, such as, for example, the CKD education modules, your research modules, and et cetera. So thinking about ways to connect with other members of ANNA. So one way that you can connect with members of ANNA is through ANNA Connected. So maybe you're looking for somebody maybe in the same field as you, or maybe look for someone to maybe be a mentor for you. So this here is one way to connect with other nephrology nurses through ANNA. So nephrology nurses week. So it's past, but still we still celebrating. So as you can see, it was the date was September the 12th through the 18th. So I mentioned regarding the membership, the free scholarship part regarding attending the conference. So here we just had the fall conference that was held in Hollywood, Florida, Hollywood Beach, Florida, I should say. And then our next upcoming conference for next year is actually going to be in Fort Worth, Texas. And this here is the a and a National Symposium. And for those that say who think about submitting the abstract, there still is a call out for abstracts. So celebrate nephrology nursing. So as you have heard from Amber and myself, nephrology nursing is our passion. And even as you have heard from others, nephrology nursing is also their passion. So we definitely celebrate the field of nephrology nursing. That right there concludes regarding the information that's presented. And now I'm going to let Amber take it over with Q&A. So Jamie, maybe one question that we would preemptively answer is, what is like maybe the most interesting thing you think you've experienced thus far in nephrology nursing? I guess I could kick it off. When I transitioned to quality improvement, of course, I was focused in on dialysis. And I was like a sponge at the time, trying to learn everything that I could to make me better at my job. And so I was reading lots of research. Dr. Tammy Hare had published a lot of research in infection prevention. So I read every article that she published and then signed up to go to the ANNA conference, which I think was in Texas at the time. So several years ago, but I had her on my phone, like on her LinkedIn profile, I was just walking around trying to find a way to meet her so that I could ask her questions that I had and it kicked off a really interesting relationship that we have maintained. So she's been my mentor through my dissertation and through my PhD program. But that's kind of the cool thing about being part of a and is that you can make connections with other people who have similar interests, but also could be a very rewarding relationship along the way. I'm kind of similar also, Amber. I would say for me, I kind of got, I guess, regarding starting nephrology because my father he was deceased now, but he had kidney disease. And so starting nursing school, he was diagnosed like the year before I started nursing school. And so actually Dr. Rowena Elliott was my nursing professor at that time. She's also from my same state. And so even throughout my career, I still kind of fell back on that nephrology nurse side. So I reached out to her regarding her being my mentor, you know, just like you found articles written by Tammy. Same here for me regarding Dr. Elliot. And so, you know, we published together, you know, we have communicated, we keep in touch all the time. And to me, she's definitely a mentor regarding the nephrology nursing standpoint. 
But even for me, regarding the passion, I mean, my students would tell you, I love the kidney. I mean, it's just even today in clinical with them, literally today, I'm asking them, you know, about AKI and kidney stuff. So they just know that nephrology is definitely a diehard passion of mine. I think we both have that same passion. So I see one question that I'm seeing new graduate nurses go straight into acute dialysis, but it doesn't look like this was recommended. Can you provide further thoughts? So I think we're at the stage of the workforce where I don't think anything is, is necessarily not recommended. I think there's a learning curve to everything that is pursued. Certainly having experience prior to going into a specialty like acute dialysis would benefit greatly, like having ICU experience or maybe you're running CRT and just the general like boots on the ground experience you get as a nurse before you really wedge in on a specialty. I think Jamie and I both kind of started that way where we were a little bit more generalized and then kind of zero in as we had more years of experience. But I wouldn't say nothing is not possible. Going straight into acute dialysis I would also say, given the workforce shortage, I'm sure that there is a lot more openness to training on-site, you know, hands-on, regardless of your experience level. So I, I think I would just approach it as this might feel like a steep learning curve and you might feel overwhelmed. But also, if you have great mentors, great whoever is orienting you, you'll soar, you know, if you have the right people kind of leading the way. Maybe another good reason to be connected with a and too, because there's a lot of great resources, like I'm thinking about for curriculum. I always suggest, like, not that you, like, get a certification, you know, the next day after starting your career, but sometimes just seeing what's in a certification helps you know what you should know for your specialty. I did that in my first, I was focused cardiac before I you know, narrowed down into nephrology. And that really helped me know a lot about what I should know in practice as a cardiac nurse. And then use that same model when I got into nephrology to learn what I needed to learn. It's a great resource. Yeah, so we have the core, the CKD education modules. For those who think about research, we have the research modules. So we have leadership modules, such as, you know, from novice to expert. So there are multiple resources that we have through a and &A. The certification review course is also offered. It's usually offered when we have in-person meetings, national symposium, the fall meeting. So maybe one more question about the career. So Jamie teaches now and I do federal and state contracting, which has been a nice blend as far as I still have my passion on the CKD, ESRD side, but I also am able to do additional research incorporating things like equity. COVID-19 is a big piece of my work now. Uh, but I think the interesting thing within the last couple of years is seeing how the legislation is impacting what we're focused on. So now we're heavily focusing in on home dialysis and transplant instead of retaining patients on dialysis for a long you know, extended period of time. We're more interested in the options that align with the patient's choice. So I, I'm saying that to say there has never been a more appealing time to consider nephrology as a career with the expansion in patients pursuing things like home dialysis and transplant. There's definitely a need for nurses who can provide those modalities, who can ensure the patients have the education they need so that they're choosing a modality that fits their desired quality of life. And that's also very rewarding. If some patients just don't know that they can do it, you know, or have someone who's really motivating them to see that you can do home dialysis and, you know, we'll support you and train you to do so in whatever capacity you're interested, but also that you could be eligible for a transplant and breaking that down for patients to really understand. It's like giving them a second life. So lots of really just a very expansive time to consider nephrology. Jamie, anything else from your front as far as like training nurses? I always say, even for me, because I even did a poster presentation on strategies to prevent sepsis acquired AKI. And I even just say, even from the clinical setting, just, you know, think about those strategies regarding prevention of AKI, you know, which I'm teaching to the students 
but also, you know, I'm at the teach you know, to the nurses. So it's kind of, you know, helping on both ends of the spectrum. So we got to think about always, you know, ways to prevent, let's say, AKI progressing to CKD and et cetera. Because even with AKI, think about your acute setting from, you know, CRT. Just even think about just simple CKD education, you know, regarding, hey, if you don't control your blood pressure, your diabetes, you know, which are the two leading causes of CKD or ESKD, you know, think about ways that we can prevent things from happening just as just nurses in general. Yeah, I definitely can get on board with that. So Elsa, now I'm interested, what country are you currently working in? I see that you shared that you are working in a dialysis department in a hospital but specializing in nephrology, nursing is not something that your country provides. Oh, the Caribbean. Okay. I see. I see. So that's interesting. Maybe not Antigua. So part of my work covers Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, but I am sure that not helpful <laughs> for Antigua. I don't know. That's, that's definitely so. Well, I'll say this, I know several people who are international that are engaged with ANNA. Maybe I don't know anyone from Antigua, but we're glad that you're here. And I'm just interested that you have landed on this webinar. What I would say is peruse around the ANNA website. I still think that because you are enjoying what you're doing, there's a lot of resources there that will support you in anything that else you would want to learn. I still think you could even pursue certification. I just don't know how maybe it would translate, you know, to where you're currently practicing, but that is really cool. I will pause for just a second to see if we have any other questions. Yeah, planning to pursue it. I definitely encourage you to do that. I think it would be very rewarding, A, but also you'll never feel smarter than when you're studying for a certification. <laughs> it will... You will just know things It will really influence your practice, but we really do appreciate everyone who joined and the questions that you asked. We hope that you found the information we shared to be helpful. And we have one more of these planned in October. So be on the lookout for the reminders on the next win webinar. Have a great night. Have a good night, everybody. Nephrology Nursing Perspectives is owned and produced by the American Nephrology Nurses Association all rights reserved. No portion of this podcast may be used without written permission. Dr. Jamie Smith-Brown is an assistant professor in the College of Nursing at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center in Memphis, Tennessee. Dr. Brown holds national certification as a certified nephrology nurse. Dr. Brown is an active member of the American Nephrology Nurses Association and other national organizations. She is the leader of ANNA's Educator Specialty Practice Network, serves on ANNA's Leadership and Research Committee, and is a member of the Manuscript Review Panel for the Nephrology Nursing Journal. Dr. Amber Paulus is a registered nurse and health sciences researcher whose research endeavors focus on evaluating the quality of healthcare delivery, healthcare outcomes, and quality improvement initiatives among individuals with kidney disease and providers of transplant and dialysis services. She currently serves as the Director of Data Science at Quality Insights, driving the organizational strategy for data initiatives. Through her role at Quality Insights, she also leads research projects focused on evaluating the Five Diamond Patient Safety Program concerning several components of patient safety among dialysis providers, including emergency management, identifying barriers to home dialysis and kidney transplantation utilization, and the screening and management of the novel coronavirus COVID-19. Dr. Paulus serves as the chapter president of the Old Dominion chapter of the American Nephrology Nurses Association, chair designee of the ANNA Research Committee, and is a member of the ANNA Leadership Committee. This episode was originally published in September 2021 as the second episode of the American Nephrology Nurses Association's Way into Nephrology Nursing webinar series. This series is available on the association's YouTube channel and at annanurse.org. For archived episodes of this and all ANNA podcasts, and to learn more about the American Nephrology Nurses Association, visit annanurse.org. 
You can also subscribe to Nephrology Nursing Perspectives, NNJ Extra, and ANNA's 50th Anniversary Podcast Series on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, our hosting site Spreaker, and everywhere podcasts are found.